this is Mama Talk Tuesday. As y'all all know, it's Mama Talk Tuesday. And happy 2020, guys. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. At first, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I was not pumped about this year. I'm looking at my bank account. I'm looking at my credit score. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, this is just about to be another year of struggle. And I had to let the enemy know that, no, you are not going to have my mind. No, you're not going to have my kids. No, you're not going to have my marriage. You're not going to win. You're not. I struggle, we struggle for the past year. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have, but we still overcame. We are still here to see a new year. So we have to be thankful for that. And we have to look at the positive side of things. So with that being said, you know, everybody's talking about goals that they're setting for themselves, new year resolutions, you know, that's the big talk right now. Um, and for me, it's more than just writing things down it's actually putting them into action everybody wants to work out everybody wants to lose weight everybody want to declutter their lives and that's so easy to say and it's so easy to do within the first couple weeks and months but are you being consistent we can write down goals and we can say we're going to do things but have you taken action towards these goals have you accomplished the things that you wrote down last year and you're actually you know moving forward to new goals if you have not accomplished what you wrote down last year still work on those goals don't give up on those goals because you never know all it takes is one yes all it takes is one turnaround all it takes is one action that you put into place for your goals to become reality for me i wrote down my goals for 2020 maybe two weeks at the end of december um and one of my goals i want i wanted a new full to accomplish the big goal that i have um that I have envisioned. So I wrote down the goal. I said, you know, God, and when you write down goals, you have to understand that you're writing goals down, you're writing things down um, so that you're speaking it into existence and that God hears it. It's not just for you. And that's where a lot of us get tripped up at. We, we're writing down these goals and we're saying, I want a bigger house or I want a house. Talking to God about these goals. It's so easy to write them down. And you know, you you go back and you look at your goals. You're like, dang, I ain't even accomplished that goal. What well, did you talk to God about it? Did you ask him, is this, my edges is a goal that I need to accomplish because they are not late today. If you talk to God about these goals that you that you have, it's very easy, like I said, to write down, write down these goals and be like, well, you know, I wrote down the vision, but ain't nothing happened. Well, did you do anything with that vision? For me, I am taking the necessary steps to get to the bigger, the bigger goal that I have. So with me doing that, going to work a full-time job is me investing into that big goal that I have, you have to make sure that you're writing down things and that you're putting it into action. You're putting it into play. You're not just writing things down and they're going into their, uh, it's in vain. That's very important for this year. Be consistent, act on it, and don't give up. Like you cannot give up on what you have, what God has planned for you. If he has given you a vision, if he has told you something that he wants you to do, stick to it. And don't, don't go get all over the place. That's something that I learned in 2019 is to stay consistent and stay focused on what God has given to me. It's so easy to get sidetracked and be like, okay, well, this isn't working out. It's not going as fast as I want to. So I'm going to go do something else. Or I'm going to try something else until I can get there. No, stay focused. You may not get there right away, but take the necessary steps to get there. What is it that you can do right now that can help you get to where you where where you're trying to go? And it could be something little, little as saving more money. If you're saving $500 a month, say 550. If you're reading your Bible two days out of the week, read it five days out of the week. Something little, just show that you're faithful and that you're consistent to something will make all the difference. I promise you it would. That's all I have for y'all today. It's short, it's simple, but I hope it, it makes a difference in your life because it's so easy to say that you're gonna do something, especially this time of year, but you really don't do it. And then here comes next year, 2021, and you're looking back at your goals because for me, I want to cross off the things that I write down, but I'm making sure that I'm staying consistent. There's things that I wrote down in 2017 that I haven't accomplished yet, and it's because I know it's a big goal and it's going to take a while for me to accomplish. It's not something that's going to happen within three months. Not to say that God cannot bless me in that way, but I understand it's not my timing, it's his timing. 
So that's it. I want y'all to tell me what are your goals for 2020 and how are you going to stay consistent at those goals? All right, that's it. Mama T love y'all. Peace, love, and blessings.